cyber attack. Queen is highest target of hackers after a secret video call to Harry and Meghan in the US. The Queen has stepped up defenses against hackers after learning the royal family is a high risk target. Her Majesty, 95, has relished engagements via video call in lockdown and chats to grandson Harry and wife Meghan in the US. Her cybersecurity experts say in a report there is now a high rather than medium risk of unauthorized access to royal household data. The warning, written by Sir Michael Stevens, keeper of the privy purse, is thought to refer to crooks in China and Russia. It warns the effect of hacking would be, reputational damage, penalties and or legal action against the household or members of staff. It's been almost exactly three months since the Queen sat alone in the pews of St. George's Chapel, Windsor during the funeral of her husband of 73 years. But, despite her grief following Prince Philip's death, the 95-year-old monarch has thrown herself back into her duties. The Queen joined a video call on Monday with young leaders from across the Commonwealth to discuss the work they have been doing with the support of the organization the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, QCT. Looking summery in a turquoise and white flower dress, the monarch listened as four leaders from around the world told their inspirational stories. In March, the Queen appointed Elliot Atkins as her first chief information security officer to prevent online attacks. A month earlier ex-MI5 chief Andrew Parker was made head of her royal household. Fears are high after US-based Colonial Pipeline paid a £3 million ransom over a hack in May. The Queen's Commonwealth Trust was launched in 2018 and aims to champion and connect young leaders across the world. The Queen is patron, and Prince Harry and Meghan used to be president and vice president respectively, with the expectation that they would play a big role within the Commonwealth. However, once it became clear that the Sussexes would not be returning to royal duties, they were unable to keep their official positions with the organization. With the QCT grant, a total of 130 plus women who were experiencing violence were assisted with prompt, quality care and services for their safety and mental well being, Safa Athamed, who founded Maldives NGO Women and Democracy, told that the Queen during Monday's video call. The discussion also featured two time cancer survivor Brad Gudger, who founded the charity Alike, which connects young people with cancer via an app to help combat loneliness as well as Jean Dalmore Mutoni who runs a center in Kigali, Rwanda which helps combat youth unemployment, and Jubilant Cutting who founded the Guyana Animation Network, GAN. We recognize that in some parts of the Commonwealth, particularly in the Caribbean, young people still do not have access to quality education, resources and role models, Jubilant Cutting said during the call. Thank you to you ma'am for your continued encouragement to young people and your support to QCT which has enabled GON to continue its activities during the pandemic. Commenting on some artwork by the young people behind Jubilant, the Queen said, It's very good, isn't it? Good background for you. Royal sources insist staff training and high levels of cybersecurity have always been in place. Defenses have been tightened in response to the specialist external advice rather than any specific incident. Buckingham Palace would not comment. It was during a video call with the QCT in July 2020 that Harry attracted attention for making comments about the Commonwealth needing to acknowledge the past before it can move forward. So many people have done such an incredible job of acknowledging the past and trying to right those wrongs, but I think we all acknowledge there is so much more still to do, he said. His comments came following the QCT's decision to start a conversation about how colonization and injustices of the past should shape the future of the organization. In a statement in February this year, when it was announced Harry and Meghan would not be continuing in their roles, the QCT said they had been very lucky to have had the keen support and encouragement of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They have enabled us to make fast progress and have helped us to take the organization to readiness for its next phase. We are glad that they remain in our circle of supporters, the statement read.